This video will cover the content editor inside of Blackboard. So first off, to create content inside of Blackboard, uh, on the top, uh, towards the left, there's an Add Menu Item button. Uh, for this demonstration, we're just going to create a blank page. And we need to give this blank page a name. And so we also want to make it available to our users. So I'm going to hit Submit. When we create uh, items in Blackboard, we can drag and drop these navigation items off wherever we would like. So I could grab and drop that wherever I'd like. But inside the actual content area, this is what's called the content editor or also the WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get. And this is kind of a miniaturized version of Microsoft Word. So if I just wanted to start typing, you know, my content into the actual, you know, WYSIWYG, I can do that by doing this. And then, you know, within the WYSIWYG or content editor, I can select my content and assign the heading styles uh, so that when a content reader or actually when a screen reader were to read this, it would know whether that's a header and whether that's a paragraph. And that's already defaulted to paragraphs, which is good. So oftentimes a lot of people uh, want to copy and paste from a Word document. So when we're copying and pasting from a Word document, we need to watch out for a couple of things. So if I were to copy this and paste this into my Word document uh, and look at the HTML style, I see that I've got paragraphs in here, but um, this isn't actually a numbered list. It's just it's just a one. So a screen reader is not going to know that's a, a numbered list. So essentially, what I can do here is I can select all of this text and then hit this little eraser button, which will remove the formatting. So I can remove the formatting and then I can come over here and put this in an actual numbered list, which is what we want to do. Okay. So and then I would want to delete that part of it because that's just redundant. So this is actually a numbered list. So if we go and look at the HTML here, it actually has our numbered list. Okay, so when we're copying and pasting from Word, we want to remember to remove some of that formatting that is copied and pasted from Word to make it simpler for our, our folks with screen readers. That's just a basic introduction to how to use the content editor inside of Blackboard.